Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we modeled the first two pieces of the chest set. In this video, we're going to continue modeling. We're going to continue modeling the next two pieces. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. The night is a little bit different. I'm going to hit F, zoom out, hit F here in the front view. And I'm going to start with a cylinder. I'm going to create a cylinder. scale it and I am going to reduce the subdivisions so it's got 20 I'm going to reduce it to 8 so that it's not that complicated uh, and then I'm going to go to this view hit F all right uh, I am going to size it considerably again just like we did when we started uh, with the bottom of this W to move it uh, and then R to size it proportionately W we're ready to uh, start modeling so I am going to hit F rotate <clears throat> go to face mode hold down the tab select all of those go to my front view and then start modeling uh, and this one what we're going to do is we're going to extrude and then go this way and then make a big turn right here and then go extrude this way kind of like what we did with this one imagine that this is the horse and we go here and then there and that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to hit W to move hold down the shift to extrude uh, R to scale and then W to adjust, adjust it. Again, W, extrude, R to scale, and then W again. And then I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that. Uh, shift, extrude, R to scale, and then W to adjust it. W and then shift extrude R to scale and then W R to scale and right about here what I'd like to do also is start scaling a little bit just a little bit in the Z axis so So here, I'm going to start making it just a little bit thinner. Um, I'm going to do W, extrude, and I'm not sure if I have to scale, but I am going to scale here just a little bit. Uh, and then, as I do my next one, I know I'm getting close, to, in fact, uh, in fact, I, I can start rotating this one. W. Start rotating it because I'm getting close here to the to the corner, and so let's go ahead and extrude this one right about there. Rotate it considerably. W. And I'm looking at this, and then maybe uh, just a little bit scale. W, hold on the shift, right there, E to rotate, W to adjust. Extrude, rotate, W to adjust. What I need to do here, be aware of, is that the ear needs to come off of one of these polygons. So the next one, I want to be in front of the ears. So shift, extrude, E to rotate, 
and then W to adjust, and then R to scale. And the ears will come out of this polygon. W, extrude, E to rotate, W to move, R to scale. Shift, E, R, and then extrude, E, we're not going to rotate it, we don't need to scale it, so let's uh, extrude again, scale, extrude one last time, scale and that's it that's our horse all we need to do is uh, extrude the ears and we've got a horse shape here here it is and so what I'd like to do is is modify it just a little bit uh, by selecting a few of these, maybe a few polygons, go to face mode and select that one and that one, maybe these four, this one, this one, and on the other side, also these four. And then just push them out with the scale tool, just uh, size them out a little bit, just like that, just to give the head a little bit of a, uh, more volume. We'll do the same here to the snout. This one, this one, this one, we'll push it out a little bit. And then we'll do this one, this one, this one, this one, we'll push it out a little bit here. And then let's get uh, these uh, ears extruded. We're gonna extrude the ears out of this one, this polygon here, these two polygons. And so let's go ahead and get, it, get that done. I'm gonna hit W. Uh, command E to extrude and I am going to hit the scale tool and then scale them and then click faces together off so that I have two individual ears and then do command E again and then extrude them out and then I'd like to see where those ears are going so W to move and then rotate and then extrude them out one more time W shift to extrude R to scale I'm gonna move that one out and this one out uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what that looks like in the front view. I'm going to click on object mode and then hit number three. Um, and then I'm just going to, in smooth preview, I am going to start just moving stuff around a little bit. Like this, and then maybe all of these out. And that's basically it. That's all I'm going to do. I think it's a good uh, build for our first organic model. Let's look at it, guys. And that's good enough. That's a horse. Look at that. That is a horse. All right, moving on to the, oh, I believe this guy's called the bishop. This one's easy. It's, I'm gonna copy this sphere, hold on the shift to clone, go to my front view, F. I'm gonna move him up. Oh, well, we still need to move this one up. And so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna click on this, go to vertex mode, just like we did with the other one, select this, move everything up, 
select this one move it up 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 and then lastly select this one and move it up a little bit and there we have it it's the same size this one we're going to scale this down to about there and then right there and then we're going to move the vertices up so I'm going to select the first row of vertices which is I'm going to hit F which is this one that one I'm going to zoom in this one hold down the tab and select all of these there and then I'm going to go to my front push them all the way up select the next row push it up scale R grab this one move it up R to scale grab this one push it up R to scale and basically that's it that's our shape I'm just going to grab this sphere again W clone it to here F to scale R And there it is. Hey guys, we've got one, two, three, four of them done. I'm gonna get the other two and the board in the next video. Um, hey guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.